Hey guys, so it is 10.52 on Sunday. I'm about to go run some errands. I have to uh, get some groceries before I go to the gym. Well, I'm gonna drop them off obviously first. I'm not gonna leave them in my car. It's uh, 82 degrees outside. That would be really stupid of me. Um, so today I wanted to start digging into something that I've been wanting to play with for a little bit. I picked up some of the uh, Demeter fragrances from the Zodiac collection. I didn't get the whole collection to sample, but I did pick up Virgo. <laughs> I had to and I got it in the rollerball oil and then I got some of the signs that are compatible with Virgo and then some that are not um, I got Capricorn and Taurus um, I also picked up Scorpio just because who doesn't love a Scorpio and um, Aquarius because my God's an Aquarius and even though we're not astrologically compatible I wanted to see if fragrantically or fragrance wise I don't know the proper usage um, if we're compatible fragrance wise okay um, so I have not put this on yet and let's see oh that is nice this will be a nice base for everything Ooh. um wow oh that is very oily okay these roller bowls are awesome by the way it's um, musky. It's kind of powdery. What's in this? Musk, wild cardamom, petite green, pepper birch blooms. Okay, all I'm getting is like musky and kind of powdery. Um, let me try some of the Capricorn out. This is a eau de toilette spray. So I'm going to just spray it on my other arm or a different spot just so I could smell it. And then I'll blend the two together. Ooh, this one's nice. This is a... Uh, spicy woody floral actually this really smells a lot like um elizabeth and james bourbon on my skin it smells a lot like that so let's see if it wears like that too um so that'll be up here all right so i put the virgo on there let's just spray some of this on top of it And let me put it all over, right? Getting all those little good spots. This is really oily. <laughs> okay. I really like this Capricorn stuff. Mmm. Okay. So layered. <clears throat> layered, it's really pretty. Um, it's like a very powdery um Elizabeth and James bourbon, which is nice. I like it. And because of how oily this Virgo stuff is um it'll probably last a really long time actually a nice oily sheen from where i sprayed the um capricorn what is it cologne spray yeah so combined this should last me a really long time i hope it's really nice i'm enjoying it so i'll check back with you guys on that later but while i go and run these errands we'll get into some chit chat right so um, I'm probably going to be sampling samples for a little while now. I'll tell you why. Uh, before I found out about getting accepted to the Chicago Marathon, um, if you're not friends with me on Facebook or Instagram, I did. Recently I got accepted on the 12th and it's a lottery so um, part of it is like just leaving your credit card information on and if you get accepted then they just charge your credit card um so that was 195 dollars and 
because it's such a popular event, it is another large marathon. I learned from the Marine Corps Marathon that this time around I really wanted to book a hotel like in the middle of everything and really enjoy my experience because it's not that I didn't enjoy the Marine Corps Marathon, I did, but um, we were so far away from everything that to get into like town and to be a part of everything we had to pay a lot of money in Ubers and it got really expensive. So I wanted to be better prepared this time so I said okay. I'm gonna check out the, the hotels way in advance and um, oh my god not to get off topic but this is like crazy oily I don't think it's gonna pick up on camera but if it does wow yeah, there's nobody behind me um, so <laughs> back on topic um, I went online after I found out that I got accepted to start looking at the hotels and let me tell you like they were starting to sell out on the 12th. I was like, this is bananas. And then I was looking at like all the hotels in um, within a one mile range and everybody jacked up their prices. So I was like, this is ridiculous. You can get a hotel a week out and it's like $50 a night, but because of the event, obviously they're charging way more. So I could not find a hotel for under $250 a night. So I ended up booking a room um, at the Hilton that's like under a mile away. It's pretty close to Grant Park, which is where you start, and also very close to the expo. And there's like a lot of food and everything that we would need around us, which is important because at the Marine Corps Marathon, we didn't even have a grocery store near us. So like water, everything was a mission, okay? Um, and I had to book it from um, the 5th through the 8th and because I wanted one extra day this time where I can actually go and explore a little bit because for the Marine Corps Marathon we literally flew in got ready to go <laughs> um, to the expo picked up our stuff and then the next morning we were racing so we didn't enjoy anything that the city had to offer us this time around we're going to explore a little bit I'm determined to so we have one extra day to do that um, I couldn't afford to really stay a whole lot longer because the rates were like crazy for the whole week up before and week after. So we just, we got enough time, we just got to make it work. And um, also, before booking my hotel and before finding out that I got accepted, um, which is the original point of this, I treated myself to a new um, hair dryer and my old one which I've had for 10 years has been on the fritz and I've been like waiting I've been banking up my Ulta points to get a new hair dryer okay and I've just been waiting for the right time well an email came through from them letting me know that I could get 20% off on any item including the thing that I purchased also they had five times points on all um, hair styling tools Okay, and like I said, I've been banking up my points. So, so, I purchased a Dyson hair dryer. Now, if you're not familiar with what it is, it retails for $3.99, okay? <laughs> but I did not pay $3.99, I refused to. That's why I've been waiting. This thing came out like a year ago. So I, really, I know I'm like late to the game. I'll show you guys what it is later when I get ready after my workout, because um, I have to blow my hair out for the week. So. Let's just recap as to why I'm going to be sampling samples for a while. Not, I'm not buying fragrance for a bit. One fifty, one ninety-five for the marathon, so rounded up two hundred. Thirteen hundred prepay hotel, right? So we're at like fifteen hundred now, plus round up two hundred for a hair dryer. Yeah, seventeen hundred dollars. Merry freaking Christmas to me. <laughs> I am gonna be on a budget for a little bit um, but the good news is I got a lot of that stuff out of the way so I'm not gonna need to spend for a while I'm pretty sure that this hair dryer will last me for a bit it better for freaking 200 well re really retail 400 <laughs> um, it better be really good I've never used it before never tried it out before I do have a Dyson vacuum that I love very much so Hopefully this thing does not disappoint. Um, like I said, I will 
check back with you guys and let you see like how that works after my workout I'm doing legs again today and yeah that's I'm, not, I'm kind of procrastinating my workout because I'm just not in the mood right now and you really got to be in the mood to do that body part but heading into public so I will check back with you guys later Hey guys, <laughs> it is currently 3.32, I'm just chilling out on a hammock at my complex. You can hear the road over there and there's a fountain kind of thing, I don't know if I can get it in there. Over there. It's pretty relaxing. Um, so, the fragrance is still there. It's like barely hanging in there, but it's still there. Um, it smells like a very toned down um, Elizabeth and James bourbon. It's just not as boozy, it's very powdery. Um, it's got like really nice musk in there. And I'm really enjoying it, I gotta say. I can't wait to see how the other ones layer and blend. Um, unfortunately, I don't smell a whole lot of the Virgo oil in there. The only thing that I'm getting out of it is the um, powderiness. Um, the Capricorn really is what I'm smelling the most of. I almost wonder um, how this would have layered if I had the Virgo spray instead of the roll-on oil. But I'm not mad because it's still hanging around on my skin, which is a huge thumbs up from me. Um, anyway, I have to really stop procrastinating and get my workout on with. I'm just being lazy right now and just enjoying the weather. I know you guys in the north are like, really, Tina? Really? Alright, I gotta go get my leg day on with and then I will check in with you guys and show you my new toy. I'm so excited. I can't wait to blow my hair out. I don't think I've been this excited to do that in a very long time. Check back with you guys later. Alright guys, it is 5.19. Workout's done. I'm clearly showered. I haven't put anything in my hair yet. But I, like I said, I wanted to show you my new baby. Can we just talk about this for a second? Like. What kind of hair dryer comes in a case like this? Like, really? And look at that. Now, I've never used this before, so I have to question, you know, is a hair dryer really worth $400? Like, really? Um, so I'm gonna set this up right here. And it came with a bunch of um, attachments. It has a diffuser and I never use those things but I really like that these are magnetic how awesome is that it has a smoothing and a styling nozzle and those are also magnetic so that's a really nice touch it also came with a mat that I'm gonna leave folded up um, it's really just to like kind of, well I don't know if that thing gets hot so maybe it's because it gets hot I'll find out in a second but um, I'm going to leave it rolled up because I have another heat mat um, that's rubber too, so, and I could tell like this is probably going to be, I don't know, maybe it won't be, whatever, I'll take that back. There it is. Oh, and it has a hanging cord, like a, something to hang, what am I hanging? I have no idea. I, maybe I should read the instruction manual. That might be a good thing to do. Um, so yeah, it comes with some sort of little tassel cord thing. Um, I'll have to read up on that. Don't know what I'm hanging. It did come with an instruction manual, but I never read those things. Um, and let me show you my good old faithful. So me and this hair dryer, what is it? It's a Super Turbo Light 3300, a nano tourmaline ionic ceramic 
hips, all right? 10 years ago, this thing was a shit, let me tell you. I will plug them both in so you can hear the difference in sound. I have plugged that one in, um, so I know what it sounds like. There was one really weird thing about this <laughs> before I plug it in. It's got like a really long cord, which I like, but it has like this weird box on it. I mean, how powerful is this thing that it needs a box? I don't know. All right, how am I gonna work this out? Can this one go upside down? No, it can't. All right, so I'll show you the uh, way the Dyson sounds first. That's on high. Medium. Low. It's really cool. It's got a hot and a cold side, a cool shot button, and the power button. But it's kind of weird because for so many years, like that, all that stuff is on the back, which I'm sure I'll get used to, but for so many years, I've had them on the front side. So I'm just used to clicking these buttons, like not stopping and doing it over here. But I will say, having them both in my hand, like I can see why a lot of people like this because it is, the motor is down in the handle, so it's like way easier on your wrist than this where it's like top heavy. Um, okay, so now that you heard that, I will just show you this. So this is good old faithful right here, okay? That's medium, high. So it is much louder. Um, so I can see why some people might like the Dyson just for sound. Right. Now that I've made a mess over here. And oh, I did have two nozzles with this. And I like the magnetic thing because these tend to like fall off sometimes and they're really hard to put on. Um, also, this has been dropped a few times so the back is kind of like the motor is kind of falling off a little bit. So yeah, this one is on its way out. So let me pick. the styling nozzle on. Why doesn't that one want to... Uh... No way. Okay. So I have one defective nozzle. It's not magnetized. All right, so I guess we are stuck with one nozzle. That's good to know. I have to call Ulta on that one. Interesting. All right, so I haven't put anything in my hair just yet. I'm gonna put some uh, Capola Keratin Complex Infusion. I love this stuff, it smells like coconuts. Mm. Living Proof Perfect Hair Day, a five-in-one styling treatment. This thing makes some lofty claims. It's supposed to keep your hair cleaner for a longer period of time. How true that is, mm. it's debatable. And then I'm also just gonna put a pump or two of this nourishing oil in there.
Okay. Give it a quick comb. And I'm going to one of the nozzles is not magnetized. Dyson, what's good? Ma'am. get that hot compared to their other blow dryers. I hate to see how hot their blow dryers get because this thing gets super duper hot. Super duper hot. Um, and it is very powerful actually. I'm really impressed with that. I, it was like blowing into the cabinet and I was like what is that banging sound? But it was just the air hitting the um, cabinet. So I need to open the door because it's so hot in here right now. It's like not even funny. I'm not like one of those super cool girls who could just like do everything in one clip without uh, having to stop and tie their hair down. I'm not professional like that. And it's also kind of weird because like again I said, I'm not used to having controls in the back. I'm used to having them with the front. So that takes a little bit of getting used to. Right, so that only took me like 15 minutes, not bad. Oh, my hair feels so good. I love my hair like right after I blow it out because it's so soft and it's got like body at the top and yeah, I really like it. I think it did a great job to say it's worth 400, I don't know. I definitely pay the price I pay for it again. I think it's worth waiting and banking points and using coupons if you can. Um, I don't think I'd ever spend $400 on a hair dryer, although that is totally close to what I paid for my Dyson um, vacuum cleaner. So both of these better last me a damn long time. I know that they're quality products, so if it lasts a long time, then it's totally worth it. I'm a little upset that one of the nozzles didn't come magnetized. I'm gonna call Ulta up right now and see if we can get that straightened out. I don't know what they're gonna have me do. I hope they just send me one and don't have me send this whole thing back because I totally tore up the whole box. So I don't know. They're gonna have to figure something out. But overall, I think it did a great job. It, it has a lot of power. It's such a, um, it said that it's a inaudible frequency, but it's such a high pitched noise that I don't know if I actually prefer that over my old hair dryer or if I like that. Ugh. It's oil, just go in. Um, but yeah, I will use it for like a full month or whatever and then I'll probably do a review on it once I put it through its paces. I will probably try the diffuser once. I never use diffusers. I don't know why I probably should though. I usually just go to, my, go to bed with my hair wet um, if I'm leaving it curly and I know that's bad. I know I shouldn't do that. 
But um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this. Bye.